the dog nuttery continues. Um, it is baffling in this dog culture how they are desperate and so ignorant and arrogant just the way they push this dog you know culture onto society it's an endless uh push you know wanting people to like these worthless filthy disgusting dangerous mutts things that are filled with diseases they are pushing things that are filled with diseases when we spent again a couple years you know in in the quarantine <laughs> so it doesn't make sense Everyone, every, how everyone wants to be, you know, disease free, not sick, but they're going to push these disgusting, filthy, disease ridden dogs. Most people just don't want to die. They don't want to get hurt. But they push these dangerous dogs. They push these worthless mutts who, who does nothing. And society... For the most part, you know, they they uh, acknowledge people that work hard. They acknowledge people that came from the bottom and, and work the way to work their way to the top. They acknowledge people that are wealthy, that are, you know, business, that own stuff. But the dog is the complete. It, the dog doesn't even compete with um with with people being successful because the dog it, it, it's in its own league it's in its own little island the dog is worthless it does nothing for itself nothing for anyone it is just worthless but yet they are going to push and try to sell these worthless mutts they're pushing and selling them every day. Something so worthless, filthy, and dangerous. They want everyone to like dogs. And when you say you don't like dogs, they get upset. But then we have these owners that are so reckless and toxic and disgusting. They're, they're idiots. They're dumb. But yet you want to push these dogs on people? You want to push filthy dogs on people, dangerous dogs on people, while the owner itself is disgusting too, is toxic. Their homes are disgusting. Their homes stink. Their homes rank. Homes are dirty. It's filthy. I've seen some of the, their homes. Again, they're the ones filming their homes and posting it on the internet. I've seen many of their homes and it is disgusting. It's disgusting. I've seen it. They're the ones doing it, people. I'm not going, looking to go into anyone's house but my own. But yet they will post. They will post. Um, their dirty, disgusting house. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's confusing how this dog culture, um, confusing how this dog culture, uh, you know, wants these worthless smuts pushed on people. They want everyone to like these dogs. At the same time, these owners are just disgusting. They're rude. They 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 allow they cause problems, they're destructive. They bother p other people. They even bother other dogs. 
but they want to push something so disgusting. I, I don't get it. But at the same time, the dog industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. In terms of wealth, they're doing very well. But if this dog culture is trying to, you know, uh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's funny how they're doing so well. But the way they market these dogs, the, the disgustingness, the, the, that, the disgustingness of these dogs, the way they market these disgusting dogs. And the way the owners behave, where their homes are, it's, 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 it's ironic how this industry, the dog industry, can be a multi-billion dollar industry that is technically still growing. Any other product you sell, and if it's disgusting, if the humans are rude, if the product doesn't work, if, if they, you know, allow their workers to work in a sweatshop, a disgusting, you know, bad environment, toxic environment, their their shit, their sorry, their shit isn't gonna sell. But with dogs, you can allow dogs to kill people, kill children and babies. The owners can be rude. The owners can be rude, rebellious, criminal. The dog can be worthless, filthy, full of diseases, dangerous. But yet, the dogs will keep selling. Bad car that, you know, somehow kills people, that gets thrown off the market right away. A toy, thrown off the market right away, company takes a hit, has to settle, gets sued. But with dogs, they can keep killing people. They can keep killing people. They can keep on keep killing people Keep spreading their diseases. Keep annoying people. Keep causing problems. Um, all, all this, all that negativity, all the stuff that you know is a turnoff. As long as the dog culture does it, they'll keep being, uh, in terms of wealth, you know, very successful. But me looking on in. It's 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 a horrible, horrible culture. It's a horrible lifestyle. The dog owners are, are just horrible people. <laughs> I hate to call them people. They don't deserve that because they're just they're just dog owners. But it is what it is. The dogs are just filthy, ugly, disgusting. The dog trainers, the dog professionals, the dog vets, everyone else is just um, they're the worst. But yet the dog industry somehow continues to boom. And with that I say, call the dog butcher, another worthless smuts, and remember, it is okay to hate dogs. <laughs>